Hi, I'm Serena and today I'm going to show you a body percussion cannon. So that's it, that's the whole cannon. Um, cannon is a word that we use to describe something that might um, follow or something that might overlap when you're repeating a pattern. So we'll get to how that works later. But just think of it as using your body to um, make some sounds and, and engage your kids that way. How I would teach it, I would just start by showing them the full process from the clicks right down to the stomps. And then we might do something like counting how many of each action there are. So for example, there are four clicks. So we might just join in with that part first. So we do the four clicks. Then how many claps? There's eight. And then moving on to the rest of it, it just gets faster and faster as you go down your body. So starting nice and steady. Two, three, four, one. with the stomps ending a little bit more steady. Two of your stomps match your clapping speed and one of them matches your click. So once your students have learnt the whole pattern, get the whole class to do it quite a few times so they've got the series really nicely in their head, do it without you independently. And then you might like to start playing with it, bringing the canon aspect in, which is where we follow each other in groups. So maybe tell your groups to do that two or three times in a row and you'll bring them in at different times. So you'll start your first group off with the clicks and then the next group goes while the original group is still going. You can do this with as many groups as you like and kids will notice different patterns and, and things like that. Um, they might like to have their own ideas about how they can change the cannon. Um, you might add different sounds, you might speed up bits, you might do bits uh, really loud or really soft, you could do it in reverse. So perhaps starting with the feet and doing everything backwards, like. So that's an example of a body percussion cannon.